Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's Let's Play, I'm going to play through Veliki Aluki, Stalingrad of the North, designed by Michael Taylor and published by Legion War Games. This video will be probably a part one of a two-part series. I think I plan to play through um, the first half, so five turns, um, then the next video will be the last five turns. I'll show you how the game works as I play. It's a fairly simple hex encounter game, so not gonna be a huge tutorial aspect to it. And still just explain things as I go. Um, maybe occasional graphics pop up. You guys know how I like to do things. So let's go ahead and get down to the table. All right, so I got everything all set up here. This is the initial setup. You can see the map, um, Veliki Aluki is right here in the center. There are three German units along with a fortifications marker. We have German units over here in Novo Skonki, and then up here, here, and here. Um, and then I have the Soviets here coming from off map in these Russian entry hexes. For the most part, with the Russian units, I'm gonna follow, you can see on the side of the map here, the third SA, fifth GSC, and then second MC and it kind of has arrows pointing. So I'm just gonna kind of follow um, a general uh, for those armies and have the units come in there. There's some other units from separate armies. Once you pick an area, they're supposed to come to there. If I, I'll try to stay in the same area. If I forget, it's okay. I'm not gonna lose too much sleep over it. Um, other than that, I'm just using the base rules. I'm not using um, the artillery. There's one German artillery unit. I'm not using that rule. I'm not using the surrender rule. I'm trying to remember what else there is for optional rules. There's maybe one or two other ones. Well, let's do the base rules. Um, we have the turn track up here. On the turn track, I have the reinforcement units each turn. Um, and then there's also replacements printed on the turn turn track here, which we'll take a look at as we begin each turn. Um, there's a loss track to keep, keep track of victory points when it comes to um, either Russian step loss and then elimination or German unit loss. Uh, German eliminated units, Russian eliminated units here. CRT printed helpfully right on the map. And the actual map itself of the area, um, like I mentioned, right in the middle. And then you can see starting from the Leaky Aluki, but then moving west, you can see some stars and then German um, crosses. Those are areas that will provide victory points if they are held at the end of the game. So um standard units are standard uh it's hex encounter units have a strength points and then movement points so pretty standard there add up attackers all the attackers add up the defenders divide by right to get a ratio so you have a combat crt 1d6 and there's a ratio you know either 1 3 1 2 1 to 1 2 to 1 all the way up to 5 to 1 anything lower can't be have combat or greater than 5 to 1 will just get dropped down to 5 to 1 it is Soviet player goes first, then a German player. It is a the fate the game each turn each player's turn is broken up into three phases. A replacement phase, which is where you get to spend those replacement points to bring back infantry or mechanized um, or rebuild um, rebuild one step. Then there is movement, then reinforcements. So movement, all the units on the map move, and then any reinforcement units get to enter and move. And finally, you end with combat phase. Combat is optional as the attacker um, as much as you want there'll be zones of control from most of the units unless it's in fortifications which primarily we are looking at um, or i should say solely looking at uh Valikia luki so i think that's it for quick little good little overview let's dive into the actual playthrough all right let's go ahead and begin and i may use these um, bingo chits to cover units to for indicate if they've conducted combat if we if it gets a little confusing but for the most part with the low counter density it's not usually necessary in this game okay turn one so soviets go first replacement phase there's no replacement points the first turn nope none um shouldn't be any needed right and if you don't any replacement points if you don't use them you do lose them so not that you want to have to use them but just keep that in mind all right, movement reinforcement phase. So what I like to do is I like to grab the Soviet units and I'm just gonna put them right here. So, which they all have um, for setup. They have a nice, not only are they listed in the rule book, but the numbers in the top left. There's only one single Soviet counter, I think that is missing the number two. So for next turn, but other than that, everyone is correct. So I just like to set them here, have them available. Okay, so first you do the movements, the actual movement of units that are 
on the map. Um, these units here, I put them in, in the hexes here, the side hex, entry hexes. Technically, I think the setup says to put them anywhere east of this Cunha River here, which the Cunha River, I believe, will be this river right here. So I wasn't sure if it's just these hexes, these here, etc. So I just kind of put them here and we'll enter from there anyway. So hex encounter, move each unit as you want. Um, the, uh, tr the game comes with a train effects chart, very helpful train key, all in color, very clear, very easy to tell. Um, something like this infantry moving into a wooded area. It's, it would only cost two movement points, except he's actually a ski unit, so technically it's one and a half. However, so say we move him here. Okay, takes this road in, so now he's following a road, right? So actually that's only one movement point, following a road or railroad, which you can see I'm on here. It's only one movement point. Um, but he does move adjacent to a German unit that projects a zone of control, and so he must stop as he enters the zone of control. And same thing here. We'll go ahead and follow, have this uh, Soviet division move into Cunha here. Boom, he has to stop. He's entered a zone of control. And we have a couple units here, um, division and a brigade, one one uh, tank brigade, and then infantry division. Wouldn't we'll move them here, one, and up the road, and then two for the road. Um, make sure four. Yep, tanks two, and then enters zone of control here. He will move, and then he will move and join him. So that is it for initial movement. So you move the units right that are on the map already, and then you do any reinforcements. So again, we're going to try to follow the um, army that they're assigned to. I'm trying to remember that, so I'll just put them here. There is a couple. So, FGS. Ooh, nice guard unit here. FGS. Okay. So later on, there'll be ones that come from different armies that aren't ones printed on the map. Like I said before, you just pick a side, pick an area and move them out from there. So, all right. You enter from any of these hexes. Let's go ahead and center from here. Go ahead and move in and be in the zone of control. Let's see, we have division. And so for stacking, there are stacking limits. You can stack up to three units. However, divisions cannot stack with other divisions. So commonly I'm finding, you know, for the most powerful stack would be one division and then two other units, brigade, regiments, etc. Which here you can see for our reinforcements here, right? We have two divisions and then a brigade. So let's have the gate here enter and actually go in the same hex and we'll do oh he can't enter there can he so he will he will enter here i'm not counting out the movement because he's moving into one hex and then he's basically immediately into zone of control um but the soviet unit here the guard unit let's get him let's have him enter here that's one he's following the railroad and then two and boom now he's in his own control as well so now he will stop his movement so we have one left and he'll just go ahead and join with the soviet unit up here so stay on the road there okay that's it for actual movement and reinforcement phase now you go to the combat phase so combat is a voluntary um attacker you can attack if you want not whatever so what I like to do, I know when I'm playing solitaire, um, I do not look at the bottom units and stacks of the opposing team. So opposing player, opposing uh, force, excuse me. So for instance here, Soviets, right? It's pretty easy for me to see. Okay, I have eight, eight to three. That'll be two to one. Uh, not necessarily great odds. And then also I can tell you this uh, German ski unit is in wooded area, which has a uh, combat shift to the left. So that... Two to one is going to drop to one to one. So eh, I don't know about that. Um, then you can look around here. You can see, you know, these Soviets down here. If you add all these up, probably going to be a lot stronger than this stack. However, there's one uh, German unit under. I'm not going to look at it. I'm only going to look at the top one. And same thing. There's just one here. So let's, as a Soviet player now, thinking, okay, this, I don't know if I want to attack him. But I do know, even though the odds are, I don't know if they're great. I'm on the offensive. I'm trying to, you know, get these Germans out of here, right? So I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to probably try to be aggressive in this game and launch attacks, assuming I have at least one-to-one odds. -one, uh, Two-to-one preferably, but I'll even take one-to-one. -one. And so that is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to conduct, I think, three different combats here. Start with the one up here. 
So we add up our strength points, right? The attacker, six and two is eight. The competitive defender is three. So eight divided by three, right? Two with the remainder. So it'll be two to one odds. So it'd be two to one. However, you then look at um, any terrain they're in and then any hex sides. So terrain he's in, he's in wooded terrain here, right? The German defender in Gautravo. Um, wooded terrain is a combat shift to one to the left. So the two to one drops to one to one. And then, or fortunately for the Soviets, there is no um, hex side adjustments here because the um, major river hex side here, so the Lovat or Lovat is a also a left shift one. And then the uh, minor rivers here, you know, the Cunha and all over the place, they have a minus one die roll modifier. So one to one straight die roll, fun little die that I use. Four. So four on the one to one is scroll over EX exchange. And the key and everything is written down here. It tells exactly what each of them means. Exchange, both sides lose one step. So Germans, I think, is going to, yep, it's actually going to defeat that unit. So he is eliminated, which you then place the victory point counter for the Soviets. Go ahead and place it on the lost track at one to show that they gain a victory point. Um, and then the Soviets lose a step, which, let's see, what is their, their ski unit as well. Um, and then our hand. No, we'll do, do the ski unit. So they go ahead and would flip him, but no backside. So he's only one step unit. So he also is lost. So the Germans also go on the one track. Now, just even though it worked out this way, uh, make sure you remember when you're playing, the Soviets only gain a victory point when they completely knock out a German unit and it goes to the box here versus the um, Germans gain a victory point with each Russian step loss. Just to show that for the Germans, just inflicting damage on the Russians is actually more um, effective for them. Okay, and then you can advance it. We eliminated the unit in the defending hex. We can advance after combat, which we will do. So the uh, Soviet division here will go ahead and move into Gotrovo. All right, let's conduct this combat here. And I'm committed to it, so now I can check the bottom unit to figure the combat. Okay, so for the attacker here, we're gonna add up all of our strength points. 7, 8, 9, 10, 17, 24. Um, 24 versus 4, 5, 6, 7. So 24 divided by 7 is 3. Drop the remainder. So 3 to 1 odds. And then we look here. They're, the terrain the defenders are in is clear terrain, is open terrain. Yes, they're, they're in Doka kind, a uh, village. However, that just use the other terrain. It has no um, defensive value. All right, so, however, you do have at least one unit crossing a minor river, so that's minus one on the die roll modifier. So three to one odds, but minus one on the die roll. Four, which actually becomes a three on three to one. So three on three to one is DR, defender retreats one hex. So all these defending units are gonna have to retreat. You can't retreat into a zone of control unless you can help it. So, you know, can't move here, can't move there. The only hex they're gonna be able to retreat to is right here. And again, you can do um, advance after combat. Let's go ahead and yeah, we'll move up this uh, Soviet infantry battalion or uh, division and then mechanize there. Okay, now finally the last combat right down here. We're committed to nine, 10, 11, 12, 19, versus five. So 19 by five, three in our drop remainder, so three to one. And then three to one, but the defender is in wooded area, so that drops to two to one, but there are no hex sides are crossing, so it'll just be two to one. No negatives. That's a three on a two to one. Three on two to one is exchange. So I'll go ahead and flip the German unit over. So flip the German unit over, no victory point for the Soviets. Um, and then the Soviets will go ahead and their tank one will go ahead and flip them over, which he is eliminated. And that is one victory point for the Germans. Okay, that is it for the combat phase. So now the Soviet player's turn is done. So now we go to the German player.
All right, German turn, replacement phase, no replacement points for them. Movement reinforcement phase, let's go ahead and grab get one unit here, the Germans do, for reinforcements. We're gonna just place them over here as a reminder. First off, the units on the map will go. Let's get, and we got a garrison over here in Nova Skonki. Um, but let's get them moving east to try to blunt this Soviet assault. So we'll go ahead and follow the rail here. One, two, three, four, five. Now there's three units, but you can overstack during movement. And let's do... Yeah, let's do six. We'll do here. Stop right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll stop there. Yep, that'll be it for our regular movement phase. Now the reinforcement phase. Let's bring him in. And he's actually going to join them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, six. Two, three, four, five. Oh, we can't go that far. Okay, so he will actually stop right here. Okay, that's it for movement reinforcement phase for the Germans. Now combat phase. Now the Germans, oh, I probably should have pulled him out of there, shouldn't I? Oh, no no take backs. It is what it is. Um, looking at the Germans, I don't think they're going to launch any attacks. I mean, look at that. Six versus seven, so you'd already be less. You'd be, no, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's dumb. Um here as well, four, five, six, seven versus whatever units are there. Pretty sure it's at least seven, probably more. Um, and obviously he's he's pretty much doomed here. Sorry about that. So what I look at it is when you're playing this game right, is we're not going to conduct any combats as the as the Germans. The the Germans on this one are definitely on the defensive for the most part. Now, it's what I think of as like a like a um, active defense, right? So you are as the Germans, you're kind of retreating. You know, you're, but you're you're putting up a defense, right? Because you're you're waiting for some reinforcements to come. Eventually, the Soviets they do get more reinforcements than you. But you're just trying to hold the Soviets back because remember, the not only you you know acting defensively, if you can inflict more damage on the Soviets, not only do you gain more victory points, which you can see already, but then the um, all the victory point locations, right? All where all those red stars or German crosses are. As the Germans, I mean, you want to hold these. Like you need to hold these. Um, so at the very least, if you can hold these, they're going to be, and, and inflict damage on the Russians, you may lose Leaky Aluki and still come out ahead. So just keep that in mind. Okay, yep, so that's it for combat. So for the Germans, we're going to go ahead and basically skip the combat phase. So that's the end of turn one. And like I said, I mean, you look at it, it's already, you know, Soviets have one victory point, the Germans have two. So the Germans are technically coming out ahead, even though they're on the defensive and everything, they... Because of the defensive nature of the most of the battleground, obviously you can see a big open area in the middle, um, especially the wooded areas on the, the north and south of the city, but also just the fact that then the, I'm having the Soviets be aggressive, which I imagine historically they were. So, okay, that's it for turn one. Let's go ahead into turn two. All right, beginning of turn two. So turn one was November 19th through 27th. Turn two oh, would be... Is that November 28th through December 6th here? Uh, 1942. Let's go ahead and grab this massive stack of Soviet units. Look at this. This is all the reinforcements are getting. Yeah. That's why I said. They start They start coming in force here, these Russians. So let's just go ahead and set them aside here for now. Okay. First off, replacement phase. There are no replacement um, points yet. Starting next turn, I think the, um, some of the sides start getting replacement points, but none this turn. Next phase, movement reinforcement phase. We get to move the units on the map, and then the movements uh, move the units off the map. So on the map, as the, as the Russians, what are our goals? Well, let's go ahead and finish them off. So we'll we'll stay in the offensive here, just keep them there. Um, we want to move up to encounter here. He's kind of pinned there. Maybe bring him down. I think that's probably a good idea, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and bring down this Soviet division, infantry division here. He's now in... Uh, zone of control and one thing to remember i don't know if i mentioned this uh, units in the fortifications do not exert zone of control so uh, just keep that in mind most other units do let's just cross an impassable hex side which there are very very few i think in fact i think this may be the only ones right here looking at the game and looking at the board so um, played it a couple times now so plays pretty quick i can't tell all right move him and now we will go ahead and move this Soviet division again i'm not really counting out the hexes because 
or comments and movement points for the most part because it's just I'm mostly moving one hex at a time. The I find that with the Germans, I spend more time counting, trying to get them up to the line versus the Soviets can kind of just move up. So anyway, um, and one thing I didn't mention um, in last turn because it, it doesn't matter. It didn't matter the first turn and it, it may come up soon. Actually, it's going to come up right now. Um, in this combat, so let's go ahead and, uh, oh, that may negate it. No, only the presence of a unit, I think. So, anyway, let's go in so we're done right with the uh, regular movement, so let's do reinforcement phase. But what I was saying was, and I'm going to organize these quick, remember, based on the armies. Um, what I was going to say there was that you do have supply in this game. It's very, very easy to, to figure out, basically, at the moment of combat, when, f when figuring out, you know, combat factors, right, you want to check for supply. The Soviet, you can just, as long as you can trace a line of supply to any of these hexes, and the Germans over here. However, zone of control does interrupt that. So then I'm looking down here, our poor um, poor German regiment here, the 2-6, uh, what is this, uh, like mountain, mountain troops or something like that? Mountain infantry. I think that the Soviet zone of control here and here are gonna block these hexes. So I think, I mean, he's gonna get annihilated anyway, but I think that he's actually going to have, um, he's gonna be out supply, which reduces uh, SPs by half, so. All right, get our, our uh, all these Soviet divisions and brigades all set up here. Again, you don't have to, you can have them come in wherever you want. I just kind of like to have them come in based on the tracks here on the side, I'm gonna figure, Print them on the board. Let's try to keep it. No, keep it that way. That way, kind of, it kind of sets the game up a certain way. Um, and but here's the thing. Also, the beautiful thing is that you can then change it later if you want, right? So, all right, let's do, and we'll do it in the center here. So this is technically a different army. Just do it in the center. Okay, let's have them start entering. And like I said before, you get a little bit of a log jam actually. Um, let's go ahead and move. He'll enter here. Which boom, then he's locked in zone of control. The ski unit will move here and then here. Oh, let's put him down there. And then up here, these Soviet divisions. Let's go ahead and just move them up. I think they're gonna kind of be stuck there because of yep, other divisions. So a little bit of a log jam, but that's okay. Up here though, what do you think? Should we think we should kind of work on maybe flanking a little bit? Maybe make a, a movement up here on the north. I think we should do that. Good thing. Good thing I'm in charge, huh? All right, so we have, what well, we have, I think we have mechanized and a bunch of tanks over here. So, um, following the road again. You know, get to follow the road here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. For five, and then what does it take to cross? So... Major river hex side here. Well, that is a plus one. And you got to go to the train, which wooded train when you're mechanized is three. So we'll take four to cross, three to enter the woods, and then one to cross the river. So four, which we were at five, right? Oh, so we got to stop there, huh? Okay, bummer. All right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And then put him here, five, six, seven. Then you divisions up here. No, it's all brigades. One, two, three, four, seven. And he's infantry. That's okay though. One, two, three. Three, three, and then do one, two, three, four, five, and he'll stop there. You can't, yeah, you can't cross over anyway. So, all right, so we got a little bit of a Northern movement here, a little bit of a Northern uh, thrust, try to loop away around. Attack, I know we got a couple of victory point locations we want to get to anyway over here, so beautiful. Okay, I think that's it for all of our movement and then our reinforcement movement. So let's do the combat phase. All right, so let's go ahead and start, uh, start at the bottom here and work our way up. So again, this unit is surrounded. We're gonna have these three attack him. Um, it's he's out of supply because his zone of control shuts off, shuts off supply or cuts off supply. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be five to one. However, we are crossing these. Almost shouldn't attack with him, right? But 
because otherwise him crossing the hex side is actually going to be a minus one on the modifier. So what I should do is just attack with these here, uh, attack him. So that's what we're going to do. So these two Soviet units can attack, or two hex, two stacks, I should say. This is a couple units. Can attack this poor mountain infantry here. Five to one odds, no negative modifiers. Goodbye. A two and five to one is DR. Oh, so he actually didn't even take him out. He just has to retreat one. But he has to retreat into zone of control. Let me double check the rule book on that. All right, because he's entering a zone of control, he takes a step loss. And so, and the, even though, <coughs> excuse me, there's friendly units here, their friendly zone of control doesn't eliminate the enemy zone of control. They'd have to be in that hex. So he is, oh, this unit is eliminated, which means the Soviets gain a victory point for that. All right, and now we can advance after combat. The Soviet guard unit here is going to go ahead and move up to Plexino. All right, now we have a stack of German units here. These two Soviets are the only ones adjacent. They are going to attack. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and attack anyway. Again, I'm trying to be aggressive here. So let's figure the odds and everything. So 7, 7, and 3. 17, 4, 5, 6, 7. 17 divided by 7. Oh, it's only 2. So 2 to 1 odds. And then are crossing a minor... River hex side, so two to one with a minus one on the roll. The five becomes a four on the two to one. A four two to one is defender retreat. So go ahead and keep retreating. I think they've been retreating up, so I can just go ahead and keep retreating. And we'll move up. Hmm. About this uh, Soviet division right there. Okay. And we will have combat right here. So these two Soviet divisions are going to attack this stack of German units. 6 plus 7, 13. Versus 6, divide by... So it's 2, 2 to 1 odds. Um, this unit is crossing a hex side, so that's a minus 1. So 2 to 1 with a minus 1. So 3 becomes 2 on a 2 to 1. Which two, a 2 is D1. So defender loses one step, so... We want the security unit, so he's not eliminated. Let him lose a step. Okay, they stay strong, though. Okay, that's it for the combat. Yep, so the Soviets here moved up. Got some units here just having a threatening up in the north. Um, in the middle here, just slowly pushing, slowly causing some damage. And then the south, they're getting the, coming in from the south here. Getting the Germans to retreat before uh, before their onslaught. So that was a big stack of units we got out here for the Soviets. So let's see uh, see if the Germans are able to to do anything. If you haven't noticed though, they do have a nice stack waiting. All right, German turn uh, turn two replacement phase. There are none. Let's grab all these reinforcements though. Put them over here. And Germans, you can see, pretty much can put them wherever they want, even if you don't. Uh, even if you fall, try to follow something. I don't think they have a specific area they're supposed to enter at. Um, maybe there is, but we're not going to do it this game. It's the beauty of playing solo, right? All right. So, um, movement reinforcement phase. So let's look at the movement of the units on the map here. Germans they don't have a lot of units on the map. They got a couple. Um, here, here. Hmm. Jeez, what a rough. They're in a rough, rough spot, but... Let's go ahead and get him moved across the Lovat and join up with these units here. So at least they're a little bit of a stronger stack. Maybe he can hold out a little bit longer. I think they're solid here. Mm. I should probably retreat, huh? Retreat into the, the wooded area here, but that does leave. Uh, yeah, they're going to go ahead and do that. So they're going to go ahead and retreat here into the wooded area, at least prevent, uh, afford them a little bit more protection. So kind of solidify a little bit of a line here in the center. Okay, that's it for regular movement. Let's do reinforcements. So our reinforcement units get to move. Now, let them up here. I'm looking, thinking what, what the Soviets are doing. So the Soviets, obviously they're coming in the middle. That's just what they're gonna do. Um, they got a couple kind of free units down here. I don't know if I trust them, but I definitely don't trust up here. We got to get some units up here um, sooner rather than later. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and get. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and get, um, and what do they got? They got ma mainly mechanized, a little bit of infantry. That's okay, though. Let's get mechanized coming in. Yeah, let's get a couple units moving up to the north there. So we'll have them enter. Jeez, I'm trying to think of the best place to enter here. Let's go ahead and enter here. So they enter into clear terrain or open terrain, which is one and a half movement points. And then here, two and a half. And then going into the woods is three. So what was he at? Two and a half. So that'll be five and a half. Ah. And then that's, he has to stop there. Huh? I can't go any farther. That's brutal. That woods really gums up the works. Even with an eight movement. Okay. And then motorized infantry here. He, uh, and all of them, by the way, tank, mechanized, and motorized all suffer three. Or only take three movement points to move into wooded. So here... Here. And down here, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really trusting Soviets over here, what they're up to. So let's go ahead and get a couple, let's go ahead and just get this Panzers activated, get it moved down in here. So he moves into here, which is the open train, which is one and a half, follow the railroad, two and a half, three and a half. Four and a half. Uh, you'll stop here. Keep an eye on things. And then let's go ahead and beef up the center here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move them down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, movement reinforcement phase. We got some Germans head up the north. We can see the Soviets coming there. Uh, just the 10th Panzer down here, uh, a little exposed, but a little bit of a road bump maybe at least to see if the Soviets try anything crossing south of uh, Valikia, Luki, and then obviously try to reinforce the center at least a little bit. So, okay, combat phase, I'm looking around, probably not going to have any combat again as the Germans, again, they're more of a defensive for most of the game with limited counterattacks. Ooh, wait, wait, wait a second, what do we got here though? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, see, ten versus seven, so one to one odds. I mean, should we do it? Just a little, little uh, local counterattack. Ah, why not? All right, so local counterattack here. So the stack of Germans are gonna attack the Soviet infantry division there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten divided by seven, one. Drop the remainder right, and there's no hex side crosses, no funny terrain. So basically, one to one right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was dumb. Take it back. Just kidding. All right, one to one, he rolled a one. That's A1, attacker loses one step. Really, really stupid thing to do. We don't want him. Be careful which ones take a step loss though, because remember, you don't, the Soviets don't get the, there we go, right there. This infantry regiment will take the step loss, so the Soviets don't get a victory point right away. Okay. Oh yeah, that's it for combat. <laughs> Is it for the true Shouldn't have done that one, but hey, they had to risk it a little bit, right? A little localized counterattack. Okay, that's it for combat phase for the Germans here. So German turn is over, so that ends turn two, and we're gonna go on to turn three. All right, let's begin turn three, December 7th through 15th. This is a 10 turn game, by the way, if you couldn't see that on the track. You do play through all the turns, add up victory points at the end. All right, so um, replacement phase. There's no Soviet replacement. There is a German replacement on there, an infantry replacement. So we'll cover that when we get to the German turn. Uh, Soviet movement reinforcement phase. Let's go ahead and grab, only get one unit this turn. Uh-oh, only get one. All right, eight ERC, which I'd start moving him in the middle here. So we'll just go ahead and place him over here. Okay, uh, movement, actual movement phase for the uh, Soviet units. Let's check this uh, northern uh, thrust here, getting some units moved. So remember, crossing over for the, any mechanized units, crossing over um, one, you know, any unit plus one, crossing over the major river, and then three for entering a wooded area. So it's a, that is four, which again is kind of brutal, but four, and then three, five, six, seven. So maxed out. Infantry, so it only costs him 
what is that? Two, two plus one, so three, four, five. So he's actually going to be stopped anyway. And so good. Mechanized. Infantry. Three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. And four, five, six, seven. So get to move, moving slow to cross the river, go through the woods, especially with mechanized. Takes a little while, but it's trying to move. Let's get that little thrust going up here. Um, and remember, full um, supply would be through here. So block technically this hex, but these two hexes are free. So as long as the Germans don't have some sort of counterattack up through here, Soviet units should stay in supply um, nicely. Okay. Movement. We definitely, well, we're going to have a bunch of movement over here. I'm um, going to get up there and engage the enemy. So Soviets will go ahead and the infantry division will move here. Boom. Zone of control. He's locked in. They'll move here. Locked in. This is, let's see, one and a half. Mm, here, okay. Locked in. Oh, he's not locked. Well, he's locked in by these units here. Let's say, remember the... Uh, Units in a fortification do not exert zone of control. Let's go ahead and get him moved up. Oh, where should he go? Hang on. Mm. I'm trying to, try to think of movement here. I'm trying to think of movement. Let's, we're, we're getting it figured out. Don't worry. So he'll go here for one. And then he will actually... Yep. Yep, he can go here. Um, into wooded, so two, three, and then on a hill, does he'll let anything? No, it's just the wood, so three, but zone of control right here. He is stopped. One, two, and same thing here. He will go three, four, five, six, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, look, see, yep, here we go. Here we go. It just worked out that way. What do you know? Or I played this game before. Either either way. All right. <laughs> and then uh, one and a half and three and a half. Actually, no. What, yeah, he's just infantry, so two, three and a half. Uh, Four, five and a half. He'll stop here. One and a half. Three and a half. I think it's to stay there though, because can't have division stacked. Okay, is that it for the units on the map? Yep. And let's go ahead and get him to enter. I'll follow the road here. The road go. Okay. One. Oh man, it's all gum. The work's all gummed up over here. There's damn units around here. All right, so let's go one here, and then he'll stop. Oh, maybe we should have went up. One and a half, two and a half, so three, four, five, six. Yeah, he'll start reinforcing up here, maybe. Okay, all right. I think that is it for. Oh no, let's get. Uh... He can move in because he can stack with that. Let's go ahead and get him moved up in. So he will move right here. Bam. Beautiful. All right. That's it for movement and then reinforcement movement phase. So let's go to the Soviet combat phase. No combat up here. There's going to be combat here and then here probably. And then I think that's going to be it. So let's uh, Soviet units. These two are going to attack this hex right here. So seven, eight, and then uh, six is 13 against three. So 13 divided by three. What would that be? Four, drop the remainder. Four, so four to one. Um, then the defender is in wooded hex, so it's three to one. And then we are crossing minor river hex side, so three to one, minus one on the roll. A one, so it becomes a zero. So a zero on three to one is no effect. Absolutely no effect. Wasted attack. Well, that happens. That's why I went up in the woods. I knew if I retreated the the German player uh, German units, get them into the woods that added that shift, they could help. It sure did. Because actually, if you see, look, if it had been four to one, they weren't in the woods, even with a zero, um, D one, so the defender would have had to retreat. Anyway, there's that one. Um, we're not going to press the attack against uh, Leaky Luki yet. 
But let's go ahead and attack this hex here. Yeah. With one, two, three, these three hexes. So let's get them all lined up beautifully so we can see all these units and be fighting here. So we have Soviet Infantry Division, Infantry Division, Infantry Division, and then a, uh, a tank brigade. 7, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, um, plus 9 uh, is 25. 9, I don't know, 14, 9 is 23, 26, 26, okay, 26. 26 versus 7. So 26 divided by 7, 3 to 1, 3 to 1. And then he is, oh, it's in clear train, good. But then he is crossing a minor hex side. So 3 to 1, minus 1 in the roll. Let's see what happens. 4 comes a 3 on 3 to 1. 3 on 3 to 1 is DR, Defender Retreats. Man, these guys are just literally just getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. So I'll go ahead and retreat. Boom, cross the Levant. And we'll have, well, yeah, he'll go ahead and move up here. Boom. Boom. Okay, and that was it for, yep, those are all the units involved. So that's it for the Soviet combat phase. Um, it is now the German turn. I'm just thinking, double checking here. Yep, that's it. So German turn. Um, they get to start off with the uh, replacement replacement phase first replacement of the game for you guys so you get to see so you can see up here it says infantry and there's a little light the little german cross and infantry so you get to go ahead and replace an infantry so they can either rebuild one that's on the map which they will do i think this this guy because security counts as infantry right yeah so he would he would go from a one to a four what else is there or maybe rebuild a unit uh let's think Let's do, let's do the security here. As long as they're in supply, which he is. One hex right there. Boom. So he will go ahead and we can cut him off maybe next turn. Um, okay. So we rebuilt him with our point. Perfect. Now movement reinforcement. Let's get these guys out of here. Get them ready. All right, as for movement, um, let's get some, yeah, let's get some. The Germans want to make sure they stop this thrust as fast as they can deeper in the woods. So they're going to go ahead and move up. And they're just going to move up. Boom. Boom. Entry zone of control. So they stop immediately. Nowhere else to go anyway. They'll stop right there. And then he's good there. He's going to stay strong in defense for now. Defenders are standing Leaky Lukey under uh, Hitler's orders. And then with this stack here, uh, I think I like where they are. And same thing with this stack, kind of like where they are. So we do have to worry about some units down here. So let's go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's it for us. So we're not going to do any more movement on. Uh, should he move, actually? Actually, this Panzer is going to go ahead and move here. Fall the railroad down, boom, stop right there. Okay, good there. Now we have our um, reinforcements movement. We have a SS and a Luftwaffe infantry brigade and division here, or division brigade. Let's get them moving here. Motorized and regular. I'm gonna turn up with him, make a little, make a little stack down here and hopefully keep the Soviets back that way. Think is what they're thinking so go ahead and do that so move into here which is the clear or open train it's gonna be one and a half two and a half three and a half stop there and three and a half boom stop there all right wonder what they're hmm they will not i don't think i'm attacking though okay so that's it for movement reinforcement phase with the germans combat phase Thinking no combat here. I know maybe it's, it's I can't remember. See, I can't remember. See, there you go. It's fog of war. So I can't remember um, strength, but I don't think, I think the Germans want to stay in the defensive here. What do you guys think? Should they attack here? It was more fun for the game, right? But no, nah, they're going to be smarter. They're going to go ahead and stay. Same thing here. Holding the, holding the line a little bit. Unless they attack that stack right there. 
across the river that's a left shift where they got for combat points would be 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 versus whatever that is that's probably pretty strong i don't think it's worth it hold strong there hold strong here but up here here we go so this stack of german units is going to attack that stack right there i think it's only one unit so nine to two would be four to one odds left shift would be three to one oh get him out of there over there this one does yeah they're gonna do that so german uh, infantry here and mechanized are going to attack the russian tank here so nine to two so that's four to one like i said but then the defenders in wooded hex so it becomes three to one no other modifiers or die roll modifiers so three to one give it a roll roll high for the for them three to one a four dr defender retreat so we'll go ahead and retreat can't retreat here because of the you know it's retreat back here and they will, uh, I think, should they pursue? Because they can choose not to. They can advance for combat or not. No, they're actually not going to advance for combat because I feel they're in a good spot right there. So push them back, force them to retreat, and they're good. Okay, that's it for the German combat phase. I don't, again, very light. The Germans are very light on the attacking because really they're defensive. They're just trying to think of you you know football they're milking the clock at this point milk on the clock trying to get the turns over so that the uh, and try to keep the soviets from achieving their objectives here so okay that is it for turn three on to turn four all right start at turn four it is december 16th through 24th um and if you notice there is a mechanized soviet mechanized replacement point so soviet turn replacement phase they get a mechanized point to spend which they can rebuild a step of a unit on the map, or they can rebuild a unit um, off the map, which they, oh, what do you know? They have a the Soviet tank unit here. So I'll go ahead and spend it on him, and he gets placed over here to enter during the replacement phase, or the, excuse me, the reinforcement phase. Speaking of which, the dumb replacement phase, on to movement reinforcements. All right, so I definitely feel like Soviets are going to keep going up here. So what they'll do is they will, so movement uh, units on map. And we'll go ahead and advance back up to the woods. It's like, I'm not scared. And we have this Soviet infantry division here. Let's get him moving. So one, two, three, four, five. He's up to stop there though. Okay. He can link up with him and then create a pretty strong little Northern thrust there. So yeah. I think that's what he'll do and then right here let's get well the uh so we definitely want to get some more units over here so they're gonna do is go ahead and this guard unit move here one and then cross over two three four and stop right there One, two, and right there. Three, four and a half. Boom, move there. So then he will move down. One, stop there. Okay. I think that's it for now. Now, uh, reinforcement phase. One, two, three, four, five. And then he can't cross yet. Okay. All right. That's it for movement reinforcement phase. Oh, excuse me. Not reinforcements. Oh, that's not all of them. Oh, we almost went past them. So um, I got thrown off though, because if you notice this turn, the uh, Germans, unfortunately, don't have any reinforcements. Uh oh, too bad for them. Um, so the Soviets get theirs here. Let's see, where do you see? Again, following where they, um, I was having them come in as reinforcements. Right down here, one, two, three, four, and he will go ahead and um, five, six, stops there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he stops there. Hmm, they kind of reinforce in here, right? Maybe, or maybe up here. Yeah, that's what they'll do. So we'll go one, two, three, and then in 
into wooded four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. After your division here. One, two. Kind of stuck there. It'll stay there. Okay. That's it for movement now, right? And reinforcements? Yes, it is. Okay, on to the combat phase. Um, definitely want to get some combat done here. So Soviets are going to attack up here on this hex, uh, German hex here. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 versus 9. Uh-oh. 21 versus 9. Uh, 21 divided by 9, right? 2, 2 to 1. But then he's in a wooded hex, so it sh left shifts to 1 to 1. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Here we go. 1 to 1. But, hey, so it's going to be aggressive. So 1 to 1. I rolled a 2. That is no effect. Oh, nothing, huh? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I was trying to think here. Okay. Uh... Has there been any more? Did the no, he didn't. Okay, I was trying to remember if I'd forgotten any of the victory points. Um, you guys can comment below if I did forget any, but it, it happens anyway. I'm gonna try not to, right? All right, so combat here is done. No, I'm tagging there. Oh, brutal. Um, they are gonna tag here, I think. Yeah, they're gonna try anyway, right? Oh, god, yeah, they will. So, seven. So, these two, uh, Soviet hex are gonna attack this German hex here, seven, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 versus 6. So 3 to 1 odds. However, he's in the woods. So it becomes 2 to 1. Enter crossing a minor river. So 2 to 1. Minus 1 die roll modifier. That's a 0 on the 2 to 1. 0 on 2 to 1 is attacker loses a step. Wow. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I'm going to just uh, get rid of that poor uh, Soviet tank unit. Which now the Germans do get. Dun, dun, dun. Victory point. Go up to 3 for that so they're leading soviets as of right now well that uh was unfortunate for the russians not gonna attack like looky there a little bit trying to get a log jam over here um and then should attack this stack right here yeah well actually yeah they should so they will so these three so soviet units here here and here are gonna attack this uh german stack here so 10, 19, 25, 25 versus, what is it, 9, 25 versus 9. So 25 divided by 9 is what? Oh, only 2 to 1. And they're crossing um, Major River, which is, so it becomes uh, 1 to 1. And then he's crossing a Minor River. Oh, the only, I think you only take 1 to effect, though. So 1 to 1. Five, one to one, and you roll five is defender one. Okay, so it did uh, get a little lucky there. Oh no, they're all one step units. So one of these infantry uh, regiments is eliminated, which is so we then get a victory point. Go up to three. So two left though, so they no uh, advance after combat, nothing like that. And you think your attack here? I don't think so. I think they're too strong. Eight. Seven, so would that be 15, 16, 17? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Okay, so it's going to stand strong here. Um, yeah. Okay, that's it for the Soviet combat phase. So now it goes to the German turn. German replacement phase. Nope, there's no units, unfortunately for them. Um, or no, uh, excuse me, no replacement uh, points up here. Also, no movements <laughs> or no reinforcement but they do obviously get their movement. So let's see what they're going to do anything. Oh, I think they're standing pretty strong. They're holding the line up here. I mean, Soviet's got more units coming, so I'm going to get a little dicey soon, but they're holding the line right now. Here they're holding the line. Like Yaluki got is pretty good here. Everybody looks good. We got a, they got a pretty, there's a couple holes in the line, but so far the Soviets haven't been able to exploit it. At least not all the way yet. So overall, I'd say Germans are probably good where they are. Um, and then just uh, see how long they can hold out, right? Okay, so then go ahead and no movement and for attacking, ooh, maybe attack. Uh, well, maybe not. What was that? 
No, not there. Here? What would they get? Six versus no, six versus six. Yeah, it'd just be one to one. That's no good. And here, no, no. Maybe they could team up against this stack here. Would that be nine, 15, or excuse me, 14 versus, I guess, no, they're not gonna do that. They're standing strong, staying on the defensive. Um, Germans are not going to attack. So that is the end of turn four. Let's go on to turn five. All right, start of turn five, December 25th through January 2nd. Soviets go first, replacement phase. Each side gets an infantry replacement point. So Soviets get to see infantry. They get to either you know, rebuild one out here or, um, or I should say rebuild one or um, improve one by a step. I don't think we've suffered too many losses out here. So they have the ski unit here. They'll go ahead and spend it to rebuild him. Um, place him right there. Okay. Right now, movement reinforcement. Let's go ahead and grab their reinforcements here. And now movement. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and starting up here, they'll move this infantry division into this hex here. Pay, uh, the tank will cross over. What was that? Four. And then five, six, seven. So you'll stop here. And then he's pretty good here. Good here, I think. Need to get him involved as well, this infantry division here. So he will move up one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, five and a half, and stop here. Next turn, you can move up here. And they can start really closing around, getting a little fl more of a flanking maneuver here and getting some more units on the line. So um, down here, <clears throat> oh, we definitely want some movement here. We got, so we got here. Oh yeah, let's get them moved up. So the Soviets, one, two, and we stopped. And then one, and then two, three, four, stopped here. Okay, yeah, I think we got a decent little, so we're just starting to put, put the pressure on them. I'll tell you that right now, it's definitely starting to put the pressure on the line. So that's it for movement. Let's do reinforcements. SA down here, 3SA, 3SA, so they're all down here. You can see up here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, stop there. And then down here, get a full stack going, Let's see. Six movement, eight movement. One, two, three, four. And they'll go ahead and I think that's it. They can enter over there. Oh, they can. So five, six, then they take three, seven. But I wonder right there. I moved them in the stack. Why not? Speed it up a little bit. Okay. Um, that's it for movement and reinforcement phase. Let's go to the Soviet combat phase. Definitely going to get some combat going on. So I think we're going to attack right here. Yep, these two hexes. Um, Soviet infantry and some tanks are going to attack. The German hex right here. So 8, 9, 10, 17, 20, 22 versus, oh boy, versus 14. So it's one to one. Oh no. And they're in the woods, left shift. So it becomes one to two odds. And then across in a river hex side. Oh no. <laughs> one to two minus one. Yikes. That's a three on one to two. Three on one to two is no effect. Oh God. They lucked out on that one. <laughs> hey, what can I say? The Soviets didn't realize how uh, strong the German position was there. It happens, right? So, okay. So be careful there. Um, no effect, at least for the, so good for the Soviets there, didn't suffer any losses. Um, I think they're going to attack <clears throat> the Hex here, continue the assault. Remember, they eliminated a German infantry unit last turn, so they'll continue the assault. So these three Soviet Hexes will attack that German Hex here. So it is 10 plus 9 is 19 plus 6, 25. 25 versus 6. So 25 divided by 6 is what? 4 to 1. 4 to 1. They're crossing the river. 
Um, so it becomes three to one, and then minor river. So three to one minus one on the roll. A three, so it becomes a two on the three to one. Two and three to one is exchange one. So the Germans, unfortunately, they do lose the entire unit. Which, so the hex goes up, and then the Soviets suffer a this as well. Cam right there. Okay. Oh, starting to starting to wear them down there. Just like I said, I said it was gonna happen that way. They're gonna start wearing them down. Um, and then should she attack them there? And I don't think so. Still gonna, they're gonna wait till they get reinforcements. Up here though, hmm, because what do they got here? Five, six, seven. I gotta do something, right? I feel like I gotta do something. What's, what's his strength at? Not too good. Okay, so they're gonna go ahead and these units are gonna attack right here. So five, six, seven, uh, 11 plus 10, so 21 versus nine, so two to one, but then the shift, right? So one to one odds. Five on a one to one is defender one. Defender loses one step. Oh, not good for, not good for the Germans there. Okay, so it begins, right? Start wearing them down. Okay. Okay. That's it for combat. That's it for the Soviet combat. So let's go to the German combat, or excuse me, the German turn. So replacement phase, they get one infantry. Let's get them out of there. They get one infantry um, point to spend, which they're going to use. Didn't, wasn't there another infantry around here that just got... We get eliminated, but we don't want him. Him up here, yeah. No, he's mechanized. Oh, that's too bad for, too bad for the old uh, Germans there. So, um, may just have to. Uh, oh, rebuild him maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Rebuild him, beef him up, get him stronger. Okay. All right. So that was replacement phase. Their point. Uh, movement reinforcement phase. So they do get reinforcements this turn. The units. Movement, again, I think uh, standing strong up here. Well, a little weaker there, so we're going to have to reinforce them, I think. And then stand strong in the middle. He's getting weaker, and he's looking pretty good, though. So probably number one is here, and then number two is there, threat. So what do we got here? We got uh, some artillery, support unit, infantry, and some panzers. So let's go ahead and get the artillery up here, try to beef them up. So what is that, one and a half? No, wait, what is uh, artillery move at? It's, um, oh, he's motorized, so three, yeah, motorized, so three moving in wood. So one and a half, two and a half, four and a half, I think seven and a half. So he's able to do it, yeah, he's able to move up here, okay. Reinforce him, and then let's get here. He needs some reinforcements, doesn't he? So let's see if we can get over there to him in time. Panzer's here. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four and a half, six. Boom. Reinforcements. One, two, three, four and a half. Six, boom, built up, back up, right back, I got him back. Ooh, it's just running out though, but that'll that'll do it for now. Okay, um, that's it for movement reinforcements, right? Yep, so the German combat phase. Looking around, I think they're pretty good here. I don't think they want to engage any combat. And then they're gonna go ahead and do, what we got over here? Germans, uh, no, no, right there maybe, attack that. A weakened, uh, weakened division right there. In fact, that is what they're going to do. So, three, three, three. So, nine to three. So, three to one odds. Minus one for the crossing of minor river. Right there. Three to one minus one. It's a two. So, it drops down to a one. Oh, no. One on a three to one is defender one. Defender loses one step. So, he is, boom, knocked out, which gives the Germans a victory point. And they will not, well, maybe they should. Should advance after combat. So here they are. Just let me think of there. So they advance after combat, which they can, even though it's a zone of control. 
I would him. No, no they're gonna stay. They're gonna stay there. They're not gonna do it. Too risky. Yeah, too risky. Kind of feel like kind of expose themselves a little bit. They got to keep that line in the center. I'm thinking is what the Germans are thinking here. So. Okay, that's it for the German combat phase, and that is it for turn five. Um, I'm going to end the video there. Um, I should have a part two coming where I play out the rest of the game, but I wanted to play through the first half of the game, five turns, explain things as I go, you know, have a couple graphics pop up. It, there's not that much to the game, obviously. Very um, easy to play, simpler hex encounter game, fewer counters, smaller map. Um, I will. I should have a part two of this coming up where I finish out the game. And then also I will have an overview interview video as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this first half of Valikia Luki, Song of the North from Michael Taylor and Legion of War Games. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. You know guys know the deal. So until next time, everybody. Later.